What's going on, Savage Gang? It's your boy, Ambitious underscore T, back with another video. Now, in today's video, well, we installed something new to the charger. Well, not something new, but a new part. So, I have a, two parts on the car now, and I'm going to show it to you. But, I ordered a better version. I'm going to say that, a better version. So, the first version I got, I made a video a while back on it. You can go check that out. I might put it up in the description. I might put it down in the description. Or I might put it up here in the corner for you. Or it, it might be this corner, whichever one. But uh, in a second, I'm gonna show y'all the product. It looks the exact same. The only difference is I can hook it up to my setup now. But before that, make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. You know, we going up, trying to get back to the ground, trying to get back into it more and more. But I need y'all help, man. Just like, share, comment, subscribe. It don't cost you nothing to do that. It's not going to affect you in a way if you don't do it. But I really would like it for y'all to do it. Just make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel. In a second, man, I'm going to sit y'all up somewhere right here in front of the car. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like now to see if you can see the defect in one of them. But y'all stay tuned, man. We're going to get this crack. It's going to be a real quick, easy install. And I'm going to show y'all the finished product tonight. All right, let's get it. Alright, so now it's gone completely out. But as you can see, that side over there is just fine. But this is the reason why I'm replacing it. Now, as you can see, they both still work with the turn signal. Oh, and I'm pretty sure y'all peep that they do flash differently. So I ended up getting the set together the first time. They both flashed like this one over here on the driver's side, but then I had to get it replaced. So I replaced it on this side because this side went out. Okay, thinking that they were gonna flash the same, they didn't. I tried to get in contact with Vice Reds because that's where I got them from. They kept giving me the run around, kept putting me on the wait list, said the wait list was so long, they were bagged up, this, that, and the third, yada, yada, yada. All right, cool. And this race has been like over the span of almost a year and a half. I just got tired of waiting on them, trying to see what they would do for so With that being said, I ended up getting the same exact style snorkel lights. I got them from my guys over there at Lighting Trends. I'll put the link in the description below. You can use my promo code. It's also in the description below. But these, I got tired of them. I've been over it, and I've been wanting to pull the trigger on it for so long. And hopefully this is a better quality. I haven't had anybody have any bad reviews yet on them. So I pulled the trigger on it. These, I've seen multiple reviews. So. I had been meaning to do a review on them for so long, but I haven't. So I'm just going to put my own review in this video as I install my new set. But for this particular product, it's good. But at the same time, the way that they have it sealed is not sealed right. So you are exposing everything to heat, water damage, all of that. And right now, it seems that seems like a lot of these products fail because of how they're sealed. Um. I'm going to see if y'all can see this real quick. So if you look real closely, you can see water spots like right up in here. And I have some right here on this side also. But yeah. So we may be about to get this install cracking. Hopefully I don't have to take my bump off. But I will have to take the tires off. And I have to take the tires off. I might just take the whole bump off anyway. But we finna get this started. For the most part, 
I'm gonna show y'all what the new product looks like. And yes, like I said, it will go, it'll hook right up to my existing setup. I know I haven't uploaded my video on my own setup personally, but it was my very first video and the quality of it wasn't too good. But I might just do that for y'all anyway. But I don't know yet. But as soon as I go and get go in here real quick, grab that product, I'll be right back. Y'all stay tuned. Alright, y'all. So this right here is the new setup. Now I don't know if these kind of look smaller or I might be tripping than the ones that's already on the car, but we're gonna test that out in a second. So they came beautifully packaged. And y'all already know where I get my stuff from. If you've seen by the thumbnail and the title, y'all know these came from my boys over there at Lighting Trends. Lighting Trends. Um, I ended up having to buy extra splitters, which I already had some and I couldn't find them, but I just found them the other day. But I bought some more. They gave me some extension wires, you know. Came with this all inside of it. But, yes, this is the new product. And like I said, man, I'm gonna show y'all how vice resins look, which I don't know exactly where they got theirs from, but this is how lighting trend stuff always look. No heat can get on the inside of it at all. It's completely sealed shut. The wire's good. And I don't know, I might be tripping, but as you can see, this is actually diffused. Like you can see the color difference inside of it. So, you can tell it's a better quality. Now, I'm not knocking Vice Reds at all. I would never do that because they've been good to me. They gave me this whole bumper, bumper grill and all. I replaced it and they gave me the lights. But, of course, I can't go wrong with my boys over there. But I can't go wrong with my boys over there at Lighting Trend, though. Like, you can just tell. Like, it's not faded out or nothing. But, as you can see, it's a different color. So, like I said, y'all, all I have to do really is replace these. It's self-exclamatory. Um, you pretty much just pull these out. They're clamped in. As you can see, the clamps right here. You got four, two on each side, four and all. You know, you just bring it over here where y'all can see it a little better. You just pretty much, I'm going to pull these out. Pull them two out and replace them. Now, this is where it's gonna be a little tricky because I have to be able to plug it up into my existing setup for each side. So, y'all don't know this and I haven't posted it yet because like I said, trying to piece together the videos has been kind of tough, but I have the Blue Ghost controller. So with the Blue Ghost controller, I have to hook these up with the existing side. So I have to have one for my left side and the one for my right. So that's how it has to be set up. And I have to plug it up exactly like that in order for the lights to function right. So, with that being said, I'm gonna post y'all up right here. I'm gonna get this started. I have to unhook both of these from my turn signal and I have to hook them up from my side markers. So these are powered through my side markers. That's how they cut on and off so I was able to use those grill lights instead of actually using my headlight by connecting them to this power source so that's what we're gonna do i probably just have to turn the wheel so i can be able to take the little thing out and we're gonna get it started from there excuse my car man my car real dirty it's been kind of crazy the weather's been up here kind of crazy and i haven't had time to really wash it like that but enough of that man let's get this install started y'all stay tuned all right, y'all, so I got them out on both sides. And I did mess up, <laughs> and I'm not gonna say I really messed up, but I ended up cutting one of the wires that was connected to my turn signal for these lights, which, let me turn them on for you. I'm gonna just put it on a red. Let's 
so that's what they look like right now so now i just gotta find i just gotta find what wires go with what which i should have a mark but i don't but it shouldn't be hard for me to find it. I just gotta unplug a certain wire in order to know what's what. For example, if I unplug this one, my whole right side turned off. It's that easy. So now what I'm gonna do is So now I just gotta find my right side, which should be the one that's still wrapped up. And this is dielectric. Ooh. 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 This is dielectric grease. So what that stuff does is it pretty much protects the connectors from water damage. And that was kind of, kind of sort of how I had most of my problem before because I didn't, I'm not gonna say I didn't know about it, but I just felt like it wasn't needed. And I ran into a couple issues early on and realized that I did need it. So I went back took the bumper apart and basically put it on each connector that I have. That includes the lights itself and all of the extra connectors that went with it. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna add a splitter. This is a split. It just, it's like a Y connector. So, I'm gonna connect it. I'm gonna connect this to one end of it. And then, I'm gonna connect the other end. pretty much what it's gonna look like once it's all hooked up. So, that's pretty much what we looking like. I'm gonna toggle through some of the colors once this pop back up. I 
All right, I'm gonna put it on one of the crazier settings that I, I know people like with the ghost controller. And this is called popcorn, where they pretty much just pop a lot of different colors. All right, we're gonna try star power, the purple star power. Let me try like one that everybody, of course, everybody likes. That's pretty much what it looked like, guys. So, give me a second. I'm going to get those wires in there. Get them caught back up. And then we're going to move on to the other side. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. I hope y'all like the install. I hope y'all like what y'all saw in the video. But, yeah, man, if y'all like my installs, please give me a thumbs up, man. Like the videos, share the videos, subscribe to the channel, man. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking for too much. It ain't gonna kill you to like the video. It's not gonna kill you to share it. It ain't gonna kill you to subscribe. I mean, it, it don't cost you anything to do to any of those things, actually. But, 
like I said, man, I got more stuff coming to the channel. Getting back to the grind. I got a couple more videos that I'm already editing as we speak. Just got to go back and make a couple outros, you know. I always tend to forget to do them. But, y'all already know how I end each and every last one of my videos. Stay up, stay safe, stay blessed. And always remember, this is a savage world. And in this world, you can be anything you want to be. Let's get it.